Hello everyone. Hello Lola, Oren, Eloise, Claire, Cora, and anyone else who might be watching. Hello friends. I am so happy that you're here with me today. Today we are going to talk about friends and how exciting it is that we can meet new friends. So yeah, sometimes meeting new friends is really fun and really exciting. And sometimes it can make us a little nervous. And that is totally okay. Even as an adult, I get nervous to meet new people sometimes, especially if I haven't been meeting new people for a really long time. But I try to remember that every wonderful friend in my life was once a stranger. Me and you, we were new friends at one point. When you first met me, you might have been a little nervous, but now we're great friends and I'm so happy that we know each other. So Jesus made friends everywhere he went. He made friends with his disciples and the people who came to hear his stories. Jesus also made friends with people who felt left out. He made friends with people that others didn't really like very much. Jesus didn't care if someone had done bad things before or if they weren't very popular. He wanted to be their friend and to be kind to them. Jesus knew that every stranger could one day be a wonderful friend. We are going to read a story about a hedgehog named Hal and how he had trouble making new friends. The story is called Hal and the New Kid. I'll read the page and then show you the picture. It's a little awkward to do both. So this is the cover. You guys might recognize it. Some of you might have remember reading it before. And this is Hal and this is the New Kid. The New Kid's name is Joe the Goat. Hal's favorite friend in the whole world was Ava. Ava had the warmest laugh, she gave the wooliest hugs, and she had the best idea for fun things to do. Hal and Ava played together almost every day. They stacked rocks by the stream, they picked flowers by the path, Sometimes, they even went to the garden to eat grapes right off the vine. Here they are, doing all of their fun things together. But one day, Hal went to the stream to look for Ava and found her playing with someone else. Someone new. This is my new friend, Joe, said Ava. Come play with us, Hal. But Hal didn't know Joe. He wasn't one of Hal's friends. Hal looks a little nervous. Let's splash in the stream, Joe said. Sounds fun, said Ava. Come on, Hal. But Hal didn't want to splash in the stream. He wanted to stack rocks. So Hal sat down near the water's edge and began to stack rocks by himself. He wished that Ava would join him so his rock pile could grow faster. But she was too busy splashing with Joe. Now, let's play in the grass by the path, Joe suggested. Great idea, said Ava. Hal, let's go. But Hal didn't want to play in the grass. He wanted to pick flowers. So Hal started picking flowers by himself. He found a colorful flower, one that Eva might like, and he turned to show it to her. But she was too busy playing in the grass with Joe. Now, let's go swing on those trees, Joe shouted. Okay, Ava said. Hal, come swing with us. But Hal didn't want to swing on the trees. He wanted to eat grapes. So 
So Hal started eating all alone. If only Ava knew how plump, how plump and juicy the grapes were today. But she was too busy swinging on the trees with Joe. I guess Ava's not my friend anymore, thought Hal. I guess she just likes Joe now. Hal walked away and sat behind the big rock. Two big hedgehog tears rolled down his cheeks. Poor Hal, he's sad. Soon, Ava went looking for Hal and found him behind the big rock. What's wrong, Hal? she asked. Why are you crying? I'm sad because you don't want to play with me, said Hal. Ever since Joe came around, you only want to play with him. Ava sat down next to Hal. That's not true, Hal, she said. You're one of my best friends. You always make me laugh with your funny jokes. You're fun to play with. And every time I see you, I want to give you a big hug. Really? Hal asked. Really, said Ava. But Joe's a lot of fun, too. I bet if you gave him a chance, you'd like him. Hal wiped the tears from his cheeks, and he closed his eyes. Dear God, meeting someone new isn't easy. Please help me make new friends so we can all have fun and be happy together. Amen. There Hal is, doing his prayer hands. When Hal opened his eyes, there was Joe, peeking around the other side of the rock. What's going on? he asked. I'm playing a hiding game, Hal said. And guess what? You found me! I did, Joe asked. I've never played this game before. What happens now? Hal looks a lot happier, doesn't he? Now you have to catch me, Hal said. Hal jumped to his feet and ran away. Ava and Joe chased after him, and the three friends laughed and played together in the garden for the rest of the day until the sun went down. There they are, all so happy. So, I'm going to ask you a few questions about what we just read, and you can say the answer out loud at me at the screen, or you can just think about them. Who is Hal's best friend, and who is Joe? So, Hal's best friend is Ava the sheep, and Joe is the new kid. Joe is the goat. Hal didn't know Joe, but Joe was Ava's friend. Why was Hal feeling so sad? Hal was sad because he didn't know Joe and he felt a little left out and maybe even a little jealous that his friend Ava was playing with someone new. And then how did Hal become friends with Joe? Hal and Joe became friends after he prayed to God, gave it some thought, and decided to play a game that everyone liked, the hiding and running game. It looked like a lot of fun. He, Joe, and Ava could all play together. And they realized that they could all be friends. So let's end today's lesson by saying the prayer that Hal said behind the rock, doing prayer hands too. Dear God, meeting someone new isn't easy. Please help me make new friends so that we can all have fun and be happy together. Amen. Thank you guys so much for listening with me, and I hope you all get to meet some new friends soon. Bye!